Hello and good morning everyone. I am Parveen. Today we are in the next session of class 9th history chapter 1 French Revolution. In our last sessions we have seen that in France there is social and economic inequality and to fight with this, with this social and economic inequality and to fight with the king monarch the people of third state started with the revolution which is called as French Revolution. And we have seen that there are many important or there were many important events in French Revolution. In our last video we have seen that how women participate in French Revolution and how they fight for their equal rights with the men. Now in this particular video or particular session we will see that there was when we are talking about the French Revolution French Revolution is not only for the people of third state who are the who were the citizens of France but also for the colonies or for also and also for the people who comes out of the uh, who comes from other countries and they are working as a bounded labor or as a slaves in France so when we are talking about the French Revolution, they have also took active uh, particip they are the active participant and we can say that they also took the step to abolish slavery from the France. In 17th century France, in France or you can say that in many European countries, they have started with the slavery or bounded labor. Now what is this? First we will understand what is the slavery or what is the bounded labor. Now when we are talking about the European countries, now we will talk about the whole European countries. When we are talking about the European countries, especially America, England and France. On that time these three uh, and Germany, these three to four uh, countries are there who, are, who want to get economic uh, benefits or who wanted to get economic development. And for that, they started. They have started with the uh, trade. They started with the trading system. There was a trading system, and you can say that there was an industrial revolution in in European countries, in Western countries, or European countries wanted to gain more economic benefits. Or for gaining more economic benefits, they are producing many commodities in Fra in European nations, and they are trading those commodities from one country to another. Now, when uh, they are trading, uh, trading their commodities from other to other countries they required more uh, supply or they require more commodities and to get more commodity they wanted to uh, increase their production and to increase their production they want labors but there was a less supply of labor on that time in european countries so european countries what they do they started uh, get uh, started asking labors from Af african countries or from asian countries or in asian countries africa is africa or south africa is a place where they give they supply labors and when they are supplying labors what happens in africa in africa there are many different types or there are um, uh, there are many different tribes who lives in jungles and they fight with each other and one, when one tribe is fighting with another one and if one tribe is win or if one tribe uh, what, uh, 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 if one tribe is uh, get uh, win they uh, took the men from the uh, other tribe who lost and those men are acting as a slaves for the uh, winning tribe and winning tribe they supply those slaves from their, from their place to other European countries to get uh, uh, many different other commodities which they required or to get arms and ammunition from the European nation so that they can fight with the other tribes. So this is the whole system through which there is slavery in the whole European country in 17th century. Same happens with the France. Um, so we can say over here that most revolutionary social reform of Jacobins or you can say that the most revolutionary social reform in France under the French Revolution was the abolition of slavery in France. Because uh, revolution, French Revolution was started so that people in France will get equal rights as a man. Or as, uh, as a man, uh, it's a natural right. 
that everyone is equal so when there is an when we are when they are talking about the equality they also think about the slaves in france because they are also men and they are living unequal life in france they don't have any social any economical any political they don't have any rights they are acting as a slave they are not getting any kind of wages also because they uh, are uh, they got uh, because uh, in france uh, or in europe many uh, industrialists or many businessmen uh, they uh, took uh, slaves or they took laborers from other countries as a slaves they are buying those laborers so it was very inhuman act so french revolution also started with that social reform to abolish slavery from the france now when we are talking about this slavery in france as i have told you that many european nations uh, bought slaves from the african countries or south africa so uh, we can say that in france when we are talking about france france have three colonies that is martinico uh, guadeloupe or saint domingo these are the three colonies and these three colonies are the main suppliers of commodities that is tobacco coffee indigo and sugar which has great demand in all europe these are the commodities of these three colonies of france which have a great demand in all the europe and as demand was increasing labor supply is less there is a shortage of labor which leads to the supply of labor from other countries and that particular supply of laborers from the other country is known as triangular slave trade in 17th century what is a triangular slave uh, slave trade triangular sla slave trade means a uh, south african people they uh, sell their slaves they sell their men to the uh, different european nations through nantes and bordisco uh, boundaries there they sell their uh, slaves to the america and to the france which is called as triangular slave trade in 17th century now when they are selling their slaves as i told you how they are selling their slaves in south africa there are many tribes and that do, those tribes fight with each other and if any one tribe is uh, uh, any one tribe got one uh, the losing a uh, tribe they need to give their men to the men or women to the uh, winning tribe and those men and women is acting as a slave and uh, the winning tribe will sell those men and women as a uh, slaves or as a bounded laborers to the european nations especially america france germany and england so that they can uh, fulfill their shortage of labor so this is a triangular slave trade in france or you can say that in europe uh, african people sell their uh, slaves to uh, buy sell their slaves through nantes and bordis bordeaux uh, border and those uh, slaves will then go to different european countries especially in america or france now when we are talking about the slave trade in france or slavery in france when there was a new revolutionary government they have started with the social reform so that they can abolish slavery from france so to abolish slavery from the france national assembly took many meetings and conventions in 1794 in 1794 the new, uh, a new revolutionary government started with the debate or conventions to fight against the slavery or to abolish slavery from the france but are uh, they are not get successful because they are having a fear that a uh, business community will get hurt because those slaves are related with the business community but they try to abolish this and they uh, they get success but after 10 years there was a convention in 1794 which abolishes slavery in france or which gives equal rights to the slaves also in france but when napoleon bonaparte became the uh, military dictator in france uh, slavery was again reintroduced in france but after napoleon bonaparte slavery was finally abolished in france in 1848 so we can say that after a struggle after a revolutionary government uh, took a uh, pick up a struggle or took a struggle to abolish slavery in france finally in 1848 there was an abolition of slavery in france and all the slaves in france have been sent to their own countries i hope you will understand thank you and now i will see you in next next session